1969, gas was 35 cents. Richard Nixon was president, Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon, and Guilford County EMS was born. The service began in March, ultimately becoming the first professional paramedic agency in the state of North Carolina. Even today, Guilford County EMS stokes pride in those who serve. Around the county, it's easy to spot a distinct shade known as Guilford Yellow, the signature color of their trucks. But it was bigger than that. Guilford County EMS became a model that many followed in North Carolina. New technology, new devices, and a commitment to training put Guilford County ahead of the curve. In doing so, these innovations changed people's lives. They saved people's lives. 50 years later, look how far we've come. 50 years of service, of teamwork, of camaraderie, of innovation, of that Guilford Yellow. For that, we can all be proud. In the words of Bill Atkinson, Jim Fryer, and Reed McCormick, here's how we got to where we are. I have a uh, Guilford Yellow in my blood. That's the way I think about it. There's no job I've ever had, and I've had some remarkable opportunities in life, but there's no job I've ever had I loved more than being here. And I think about Guilford County EMS every day of my life. My name's Reed McCormick. I came to Guilford County in June of 1977. I uh, worked on the trucks for 25 years, came inside in 2000, and uh, we began the Paramedic Academy and uh, was fortunate enough to retire in 2012. I'm Jim Fryer, I was a county employee, 1981 to 2000. Before that, my claim to fame, Dad had a private ambulance service, started in the late 60s. I'm Bill Atkinson. I came with the uh, Guilford County Emergency Transportation Service, ETS, which became EMS, obviously, uh, in uh, 1975. Uh, Jim Fennison is the one who invited me to come join it. Just from start and up until today, it's just a, they've made a model system for, uh, for a lot of other folks to follow. To realize you were in a place that was ahead of the curve and actually was doing something to change people's lives, including save their lives in many cases. And a lot of EMS agencies could do that, but very few places in the state or in the nation at the time were out ahead of the curve saying we ought to do it better, 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 better with accountability. And uh, many of those principles in North Carolina were proven right here. This is what we can do to help our community. This is what we can do to help success rates. This is something we can do for all of us and for all of our families who live in this area. And we were very fortunate. Um, I was probably 12. <laughs> Dad uh, had a neighbor that they ran the first calls and they got me the white shirt and black pants of the day and the patent leather shoes and I thought I was somebody. We started off here with yellow trucks and we carried ourselves proudly and we were a little bit ahead of others and I think we've managed to maintain that throughout our history. So there were a lot of firsts that began here. Maybe one of the main things was the uh, institution of the medic units that uh, it was all about uh, you know the time factor. If we can't put an ambulance out in the wide stretches of the county, let's put a medic unit out that as a first responder, gets the same paramedic care, can be given to those folks in the county while the ambulance is coming out of the main bases. And that was, I think, one of the most innovative things that was, was ever done. Uh, a lot of technology came through here because the place could handle it and it was a sophisticated enough city or, or community, you know, people weren't shocked when they, well, they were literally, but, but they weren't shocked when they saw a new technology. Probably the biggest game changer during my career would have been the, uh, it's called the Thumper. It's a mechanical CPR device, and it just freed us up to do more, keep the airway and push medications. And that just, during that, those years, it really increased our survival rate. People who have been uh, instrumental to this agency and its success and bringing it to the spot it enjoys today, I would have to say three people come to mind. And the first, obviously, is Jim Fennison. And he was a groundbreaker, pushed a lot of things to happen that uh, other services around us were not interested in, were not trying to achieve. So he was very progressive. Ed Woodard, during his tenure, carried it on. We gained so many things with the implementation of 
you know, medic trucks and our increased radio capability for transmitting EKGs in a very early time and, you know, the, the amount of money that it took to, to get those programs to go indicated a, a great deal of commitment to the quality and to assuring that we were going in the right direction. Jim Albright, I, I would credit him primarily with uh, helping us to turn this into an agency that works for the community. And in many ways, uh, they're peas in a pod, you know, Fennison and Woodard and Albright. A little bit different personalities, but if you get down to what makes them good leaders, very similar and their beliefs and the passion they have for what they do. We started off with five trucks. We're now running 16, 17 or more. Guilford was then and still, in my opinion, the place people want to be. I mean, it's just, it's different. The yellow trucks, I see yellow trucks in my sleep, still do, and, and I never see one anywhere around that it doesn't get my attention and I don't dream instantly about the, how much fun it was to be here. I guess for me the most amazing part of it in total was the amount of responsibility that you fall into whenever you walk into someone's house carrying an aid bag and a radio. We are the gateway to the healthcare community and I think that would probably be the proudest accomplishment of this agency over its 50 year history is to be recognized as that in a very strong healthcare community. I wouldn't have traded anything to be part of Guilford County EMS and I hope I still am. In my heart I am. Once you've been here, you remember the team and uh, that would be my proudest moment in my life was being part of this group.